All right, let's see if we can find these three groups. So let me draw out this uh, rather unlikely molecule. You can see that if there's a hexagon with a circle, that's a benzene ring, which is really six carbons in a hexagon with single and double bonds attached. So that's the benzene ring. It also looks like that with three little lines. If there's a carbon with a nitrogen attached, almost certainly that's an amino group. Now that nitrogen might have hydrogens on it, or it might have uh, alkyl groups, you know, like methyl or ethyl also attached. But really you're looking for a carbon with a nitrogen attached, in SL anyway. That's the amino group. And this rather nasty assemblage is the ester linkage. It's uh, a carbon with a couple of oxygens attached and then another carbon. So let's look again. Let me draw another weird molecule out. Just making these up. Okay, you can see there are two hexagons, and only one of those is the benzene ring. And of course, it's the one with the circle in it. So that's the benzene ring. The other one isn't a benzene ring. Now I'm looking for the amino group. So that's uh, a nitrogen with a carbon, at least one carbon attached. So there's the amino group in SL. That's the amino group anyway. That looks like an ester, but it really isn't. An ester has two oxygens in its uh, functional group. That only has one. So let's go to the top. There's the ester linkage there. A couple of carbons and a couple of oxygens. Excellent. So let's look at the uh, condensed structural formula. This is as nasty as it would get. So this is actually methylbenzene. So you can see that C6H5 is kind of indicative of the benzene ring. There's an amino group there because of the carbon and the nitrogen configuration. And finally, the, structural, the condensed structural formula for an ester has like a CO2 in the middle, and that's an ester. Excellent.